And we've suddenly got a 7.9, which is going to hit the city all the way over here. Actually on the large emergency shelter. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the next episode of City Skylines with me, Biffa, here in the city of Antarctica, our vanilla city. And we're literally just about to have a Category 5 earthquake hit this area in front of us at any moment. Um, let's just have a look up here. There it is. That's where. Oh, it's going to be over here. Oh, not good. Not good. I'm just. Oh, I shouldn't really pause, should I? I'll tell you what I'm going to do is I'm going to get these people here to evacuate. That's what I'm looking for. As they're sort of close to it. And I'm wondering whether this one here and this one here and this one here. Just as it's going to cover sort of this area. I think these will be okay. Yeah, we'll just go... Oh, look, this is sort of a bit close as well. Go on. We'll evacuate all of you. I'm sorry about the flickering. I don't know why it does that. But, oh, my goodness me. What are we going to lose over here? Um, our business. <laughs> Which, hopefully, shouldn't be too bad. But we'll see what happens when it kicks in. Okay. Uh, in the last episode, we were working a lot on traffic. Which, for that, you know, 78%. It, it's made a good difference. Here it comes. Oh, my life. It's just completely... <laughs> what a magnificent sight. <laughs> oh, wow. That is just completely devastated. Our road and rail and power network. Oh, it's still going. How are the houses faring over here? Oh, good gravy. I can't see anything going down. We've got a couple of fires over here i think we'll be okay i think they can get there and i think we're done what did we lose we just lost power over there okay that's fine let's have a look what do we get buildings destroyed 35 200 citizens oh f in the chat for the 200 citizens train tracks roads buildings on fire wow okay i tell you what we'll just pause a sec because this is going to be the earthquake of oh it's got the date on here as well isn't it 2059 is going to go in here. At, at some point, we're not going to be able to sort of put all of these in because the zones are going to take up space for building, aren't they? But uh, we'll work it out. Uh, I'm sure there's somebody out there that's been keeping track of all of these things. Earthquake 2059. Oh, man. Right, okay. So let's fix these up. While I'm doing that, uh, don't forget, I'm going to take the average views from the last episode and from this episode... Yeah, we're going to have like a bridge over the top of this now. Um, and that is what the disasters are going to be set to in the next episode. Um, let's just have a look. If I just literally go straight over the top, it's going to do like a weird thing, isn't it? Yeah, okay. So we'll go to sort of there. Yeah, so whoops. So get your likes in. Actually, what I'm going to do, I'm not. I'm going to go up. So get your likes in. And then whatever the average is, this is like really weird. <laughs> <laughs> I want to go down to that. There we go. Whatever the, whatever the average likes are, that will be what the disasters are set at. At the moment, they are set at... Uh, let's go up one. And we'll go over to there. And then we'll join to there. Yep, we've just about managed to get that going over the top. Okay, cool. Uh, at the moment, they are set to 10... So we could have anything turning up at any moment. Oh, that's a road over there as well. Okay, let us just uh, upgrade and fix that. We can use any road for the upgrades and it will replace it to what it was before. What's this down here? Oh, that's train track as well. People are starting to move. This is all oh, a disaster. Okay, well, this isn't going to help our traffic really, is it? So let us upgrade that, that, that and that. Uh, that and that. And then we can try and work out what the heck is going on here. So we're going to get that from there to there. Oh man, it's trying to remember. Is it? Can this go over the top? It's just too... Oh yeah, it can. Okay, cool. And then down to there. So what we're going to do is we'll delete that one. And we'll go down to there. No, I don't like that. Not, not slopey enough. If we go like that. Oh, not that far. Like that. There we go. Go to the 12 and then we'll get it. Uh, this one here, I'm assuming just split out into <laughs> into two. I really can't remember.
I honestly can't remember where this one went. Did it like attach into there? So it split off there and then that split off and went over here and over there. I think that's what it did. Uh, let's get the power in here as well. Can we get over the top there? We can. Hopefully that's all we need. I think we're okay. Oh, we haven't got the citizens back, have we? Let's release all the citizens. Release. Yep, there we go. Let's think about it for a minute. Excellent, excellent. I think we're back as we should be. This has been checked out, so we can rebuild that. Probably lost a load of metals there. But overall, I think that's okay. Oh, the snow's kicking in. I think we've just about managed to solve this problem before the snow comes. Yeah, and everything's running okay. Yep, excellent. That is what I want to see. Right, we were just talking about the traffic, weren't we? Just wanted to double check... Yeah, I think we're doing okay. It's probably up to like 80 or something, isn't it? 79%. Lots of busy places along here. Do you know what I'm going to do? They're using this. These two little main roads here. I'm going to make one little cheeky change along here. Because I know these are going to have stop signs. I'm going to take those out. Because the game generally tends to just work better without the stop signs. <laughs> so we'll do that. And then we'll be fine. Okay, right. So, yes, we were expanding, weren't we, over here? But I just wanted to take a little teeny tiny break from the expansion and check out... Oh, man, all the way over here. What was that? I bet that was a fire that did that. Because when you got disasters on, you get random fires as well more often. Yeah, there's loads of little... Which is just something you need to keep an eye out for. Look, over here. Yep, helicopters are fixing that up. So I want to make sure our city is in a is in a good spot before we keep adding keep adding more and more stuff. I don't think there's anything else that needs fixing up. I think we're okay. There we go. That thing there. Nope, that's the policies tab. There we go. Elementary school for the kids. Okay. I think we've got everything. Yep, excellent. Right, all right. So, yeah, I want to check out over here we've built this new area. Did we put any disaster, thank you, preventative stuff in here? We did not. So how many people do we have in this zone? Is this all... Oh, yeah. It, I was trying to do the zone and it did that, didn't it? Let's <laughs> get rid of that. That was in the last episode. If you weren't here for that, we were drawing this out. And then the game zoomed us over to a disaster that was happening up here. And it just dragged it all the way across. Okay, so Summit Heights. 1,000. Okay, so it's not that many people in there. Uh, we are going to put one of these in here, which hold 1,000 people. So a couple of these, I think, dotted around. Maybe... Let's have one over here. I know they don't come from the shopping area to these. Um... I'm going to have it off the side road, just like that. And then we're going to have... Oh, there's one here as well. Okay, that's fine. Well, we've got two here now. That'll be good. And then I really want to take a look at our mass transit. We haven't checked this for a while. And I did notice some huge figures on some of these things. So let's start off with our metro. And where does our metro go? So, oh, look, there's something else that's been destroyed over here. What's this? Large water tower. Oh, I'm glad that didn't cause any uh, any problems. Okay, thank you. Right, let's get back where we were. So our metro comes down here, stops at Hickory Park. We could bring that over to this area for sure. Um, and I'm just wondering whether somewhere sort of up here. I wouldn't expect a metro to be available for a low-density residential area like that. But definitely up here with the larger IT buildings, with the basketball arena and with our university so could we squeeze a stop in along here somewhere i bet we could if we tried oh auto save quick sip of tea mm. i miss it sometimes the auto saves are so quick on vanilla that they just come and go and they're gone oh look at that we could fit it at the end of that road there i wanted it sort of more in the middle over here but you know what actually people will walk a long way so let's do that um, and let's get underground and attach that where we're trying to get to over there and i'm going to deliberately bring it sort of through here like this because then at some point 
we can always add another one down here once we expand all of that. So we're going to take this purple line here, move that all the way up to there, and then we're going to add stops on each line. Don't leave! Stops will be coming back. Oh, they're like mass exodus. They're like, I can't believe my stop was taken away. And they're off. Darn you, people, come back. I wonder where they're actually going to. The stops are back. I should have paused the game. Look at them. It's like a mass exodus. So they're all coming down here to get on the buses. And then they're going to forever... Oh, my life. Look at this. Look at this. This stop is going to be forever overladen with people. Which is now going to mess up my figures. We're trying to sort out all the mass transits. Thank you very much, game. Okay, right, so... That's added extra metro. <laughs> Look at them. I don't know which stop that is. Right, okay. So let's go back to here. So some of these are pretty big and we've only got um, a small amount in. So let's have a look. Oh, actually, look. They're, they're not stacking up. So the two is doing okay. So Hickory Square is okay. Hickory Square. Say that correctly. Um, yeah, like we've got a hundred. I mean, there's no sort of figure... To say if it gets over, you want to do something about it. But 1,146 is definitely it. So where is that? Is that over at the airport? So we've got a 1,000 people under here waiting to get to places. Now, this would be fantastic use of the commuter destination mod, <laughs> which we don't have. So I'm wondering whether we could add in another mode of transport for these people. So this line goes up here. And then it goes up over here to our hub. And then from our hub, they can go out in all those directions. But there's nothing coming out in these directions. And I'm wondering whether we could bring this and join it around to here. What have we got going on down there? And add like a... Because this is like a loop that goes around. So that's covered. And we could stop it at the Crest District. Yeah, let's do that. This is going to loop around to down here somewhere. Because this is quite high density stuff. Um, where would be a good spot for that? Ideally, I would like it right in the middle. We've got our high school there. We've got Chirp. What's that? Chirp Cinema. Ski Lodge and stuff in the middle. That's another school. This drugstore can go. That's where it's going to go. Like that. And then this side is going to come up here. Right, okay. Could we have another stop on this line? What have we got here? So we've got this big university complex here as well, haven't we? Of course. So definitely, let's see if we can add... I mean, we do have this stop. Hmm. We've got this stop over here. But we could add another one. I mean, why not? Because then it might be a quicker route for people to get to on this side. What else have we got? We've got like a geothermal heating plant. We've got this stadium. Pretty sure the stadium's covered as well. Yeah, something this side to help these people here. And this spot is sort of crying out to me. I mean, it is a main road. And I hate putting things right on a main road. We've got this hotel. We've got some parking. Fair trade coffee. I'm just, I mean, this road isn't that busy. It just goes like against all my fibre of my being to add it on a main road. Whoa, storms are coming in. Okay, there might be a spot next to this high school here. If we could pop it in there, which we can. There we go, fantastic. That's going to be the one. So this is going to come out on this line. Uh, let's go down underground. Bring that round. What the heck? This was down underground, but it's freaking out. Let's try this one. Okay, we'll go here. And we sort of bring that round to there and then scoop it round to here. It's looking like it's going above ground, but I think that's okay. And then we'll add a line from... Oh, yeah, you're just getting a bit confused, aren't you? Oh, does that mean this red line? Where does that go? All the way up there. Could we sort of continue this one down? Is there many people using that red line? Let's, let's use our brain a bit. So that's the Hickory Square line, isn't it? No. Well, let's... Oh, hang on. I'll tell you what. Let's connect this up first before we do that. So it's very near to this one, but people could walk from one line to the other. I don't see it being a problem, I'll be honest. 
and that is going to come straight into there now we could extend this purple line up to there which comes from here but they can also go that way round. so instead i'm going to extend this red line down to here we've got this as like as a crossover point now and they're on different sides of the track as well when they get there so that's okay we'll add stops in there you know we're doubling up on some of the some of the access to these places but i don't see that as being a problem and then yeah both sides of this line so all these people don't leave hang on i don't want to go that far I want to go there there we go yeah excellent that should be good that gives some extra coverage for here cool okay right so hickory square crest loop wow there is a lot of people on there good gravy 600 odd people hundreds oh my life can i get enough okay we're gonna go 18 on that one see whether that helps and then the counterclockwise is okay yeah we'll leave that one and then walnut hill that's okay rosewood park that's okay and this is probably okay as well so i think we're okay. We need more on Hickory Square because you're now going to be coming all the way down here. Let's double that to... Let's pop 10 on there. So we're going to have to keep an eye on how all of this goes. That this doesn't all get chock-a-block and cause any problems. Oh, I've got 9.8 earthquake. I didn't put what this was, did I, over here? This is a 5.0, wasn't it? 5.0 earthquake, 2059. And then what were the other ones that we've got in? Uh, sinkhole. I didn't put the size of that. Let me know what the sinkhole was. Uh, I'm going to shrink this so it doesn't take up any more space than it has to. There we go. That'll be okay. Yeah, just about. Let's make it a little bit bigger. Yeah, let me know the sizes of the meteor and the date. The size of that sinkhole. And I think, and then we had that storm, didn't we? Which I haven't really sort of jotted down we could maybe put a little district here for the storm that we had a few episodes back storm question mark let me know the, the size and the date of that right okay so that's our mass transit at our subway our bus lines so any bus lines that are really underused it's like why is there that bus where is that one going it's coming from here and it's going over here. So people basically are not... I need a sip of tea. That tells me they're not flying in to go to work. So anybody that comes in via the metro to get to work, that could happen. They could just walk. That bus line... Whoa. You're out. You're burnt. Okay, this one over here. Yeah, reasonable amount of people on the buses. Quite a lot of people here. So where's that? That's in the middle of this area. But we've got enough buses. Oh, acclaimed. Thank you very much. Uh, that was this one, wasn't it? Yeah, we've got enough buses. By the time they get down here, they're sort of full, aren't they? Let's make that up to... I'm trying to get to 14. 14. Yeah, Hickory to T. There's two of those. We'll do this one here. Yeah, they're not got quite enough. Six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, okay. The hawky porky line. 24, 20. I mean, the thing is, it's not that many waiting, but you can see the bus by the time it gets there. That one magically filled them up. <laughs> I thought it had, I thought it was full already. This one here. I'll add, a, I'll add one more bus. I'm feeling generous. And the ice tea line, I think that's going to be... Wow. Ice tea line is getting full. So it's only got five. I'm going to double that to ten. And then we'll let that run and see how that goes. Right, no trolley buses, tram lines. Ah, oh, of course, we've got trams everywhere, haven't we? All my life. Okay. Let us do the biggest first. So 204, these trams are not cutting it. Mamma mia. Right. So, uh, I didn't mean to press that button. Trams. So let us turn off all the trams apart from Sunset Park. Where is that going? So that's going down the main road. It's cutting up here. It's going all the way up this main road. All the way over to here. 
and back again. Now, what we don't have going up here... Oh, we do have a subway. But where are the stops? So we've got a stop up here. So all of these stops could walk to that. And then when it comes down here, we've got stops here. And there is a stop there. Because what I'm thinking is if I take this line out, will they use the subway instead? That doesn't make sense, I know. What I was actually thinking was, could I upgrade this to some other mode of transport? Which I would think monorail. Put a monorail through the middle of the city. It's quite noisy. But then I thought metro. Uh, then I thought subway. Metro, yeah. But then there's already one here. And I'm wondering why they're not using this line as opposed to this. And if I took it out, I'm thinking that might just cause more problems than it would solve. Could I increase? I mean, we've only got the one model on here. I mean, it's already filled up by the time it comes around here. There's plenty of space on the line. I'm going to go up to... 7, 8, 9. I'm going to add four more onto there. And we'll see how that goes. This one, not many people waiting at all. And quite a lot of these are empty. So we're going to drop that down to four. Walkie Park loop. Looks like it's got too many on it. Yeah, look, you can see. Zero, zero, zero. And it gets down here. And there's quite a few. So eight can drop down to five. Okay, so that's good. So we're balancing out the, the traffic. Hopefully. Oh, my goodness. Crest loop. Got 106. And they're not getting picked up. Ten. We're going to up that too. That's the counterclockwise. The clockwise. Oh, my Lord. Where's this one? Right in the middle of the city. That is super, super busy. Is there one coming along? You see, they're waiting for ages. I think we're going to have to up that one as well. That was the clockwise one, wasn't it? Yeah. I mean, 10. Seems like a lot, but there's a lot there. Actually, 90, but 1, 2, 3, 4... Five. I mean, we're almost up to that anyway. Yeah, let's make it ten. Uh, hillside Heights. This is probably going to need another... Why is that empty? And there's loads here. It just needs another one. Are these not moving? These seem suspiciously like they're not moving. Ah, we have a traffic jam. Okay, that's not good. We have a tram jam. And there's stop signs there. What is your problem? Oh, I know what it is. It's because I've added new ones to the line and they can't get out. Okay. Yeah, this is going to be interesting. <laughs> I could be completely overloading my road here. So we were looking at this one. Yeah. I would definitely add another couple onto here. This is going to take a while for these to get through and start dealing with a problem. Like, they're full up already. So, they're pick what it is, they're picking up people from down here. Look, yeah, you can see. And then by the time they get around here, these just aren't getting a look in. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to regret this. I am going to regret this. Look, again on here. Six. Heather to Hickory. What, what I think is going to end up happening is... Oh, that one's okay. <laughs> Yay! Is we're going to have to upgrade... Other options for people to get around. Hardly anybody using the train. Okay. Very likely. See, trolley buses, don't they have like a bigger capacity than trams? Trams have got 90. Uh, trolley buses, what does it say? Trolley bus, fuel power. It doesn't actually say, does it? I think they have more options for seating arrangements inside. Okay. So how is that doing? For everybody getting out, I'm probably causing a complete disaster. Where are they all coming out? I've lost my place. Down here somewhere, isn't it? Yeah, not as bad as I thought, but it's probably going to take a while for these all to come out and spread out. So we'll see how that goes. Oh my goodness. Um, I was just sort of looking around at the traffic thinking about recording some time lapses and we've suddenly got a 7.9 which is going to hit the city all the way over here actually on the large emergency shelter um 
Okay, we are going to evacuate citizens. Okay, well, I mean, this is a test. Can they fit in there? I'm going to get some over to here. How would that... I've never really thought of that happening before. So with that actually being where the meteor is going to hit... Oh, my life is going to hit right in the middle of this river. Oh, my life. Oh, my life. This is going to be nuts. I mean, we're going to have everybody in here. Are they going to survive? I don't want I don't want them in there. Let's release that one. But then where do they go? I mean, I've got this one over here. I'm telling them to come into here. Citizens in shelter, one out of 10,000. Get in there quick. Zero. How, how quick is it going to take them to get here? Two. Run for your lives. <laughs> oh, man, this is going to devastate the bridge and wipe out this waterway take out I, I need to like take a picture of what we've got here before it happens so i just don't forget because it always happens that i forget so but lightning rods this is not boring if only we could have a meteor rod then we'd be okay how many are in here 22 people these are not gonna do you know what? I'm going to do it anyway. I feel like I'm putting people into their death. But if it happens here and it doesn't quite hit that, I'll be kicked out of being mayor for not doing it. Oh, this is going to be the biggest disaster ever. Oh, here it comes. Here it comes. I can hear it. I can hear it. Where's it going to hit? Here we go. Oh no, we're going to get the best view ever. Oh, the disaster centre. Has the disaster centre survived? No! <laughs> the people. The people. Oh no. And what's going to happen to the river? I'm hoping that isn't going to be too bad. Oh, good gravy. Look, I'm going to get a screenshot of that. <laughs> that is a proper disaster, isn't it? Oh, wow. Um, okay, let's get fixing uh, because if we don't, we're going to have all sorts of problems. Uh, let's fix up the highway. Uh, repair cost. Can I? Space ready occupied. No, it won't let me upgrade and fix them because I haven't got the anarchy mods and they're too close together. Game, why do you do this to me oh no mm. all right let's fix up the things i can actually fix up oh i never even considered that as being an, an issue at all we can hear all the helicopters coming in checking things out oh look at them all they're here the disaster repair people are here Look at this. Now we fix the roads. The fire engines can get in here and fix this all up. They're coming in their droves. Oh, good grief. How many uh, people... Oh, we can release the citizens. Apart from the ones that <laughs> were in this one down here. 432. I've got to be honest. Judging by the speed that they were getting themselves in, 2060. That was a 7.9, wasn't it? Oh, wow. Let's just shrink this a bit. Mm. Why does it want to do that? Okay, we'll do this. Mm. No. Oh, darn it. I've lost it. Right, okay. Well, this is going to be the 7.9 7.9 Meteor of 2060. And then there was a storm. I'm just going to put the storm like here. And you can tell me the details about that. <laughs> Had to spell it as well. That would be handy. Storm. There we go. Uh, right, okay. We are just going to have to rebuild these highways, which is fantastic. Um, so, I don't want to be underground. Let's just delete all of these because I can't upgrade them. Yeah, at some point, I'm going to have to, like, come and dig all this up and rebuild it all because it is just not good it's not good i hate the way it's <laughs> it's like that but there we go where the heck did this train line go there's like a dead end 
little dead piece of train line here and nowhere for it to go. I mean, what the heck was that? I mean, it obviously connects over here, which has got to be a bridge now. Over the top. Yeah, it's really not got to be a bridge that's that high. Uh, <laughs> let's go like that. And then straight over. And that's probably about as good as that's going to get. Uh, let's upgrade that. Let's upgrade that. And then what was in it? I honestly can't remember. I need to get my uh, screenshot out and take a look. Oh, it was just a dead end. I have absolutely no idea what I was thinking I was going to do with that. But it was just a dead end. So... There we go. Well, I tell you what, in memory of the people that um, were sent to the uh, shelter and never made it out alive, we're going to rebuild another shelter here because we need one, we need one in this area. Yeah, it wasn't like that, was it? I think it had a little road like that. I remember flattening all this out. Oh, yeah, it all comes flooding back to me now. What? Can't we? No, can't do that. Let's level this. Probably don't need to do that at all, do we? Let's see if we can make this a bit better. Oh, dear. Man alive. Yeah, we're just going to go like that. That's fine. They can get down there. Have they got water pipes? Let's give them some heating pipes as well so they're not too upset with the... Oh, dear. Oh, my life. Well, it hasn't affected the river too much. Um, the bridge survived, which is good. The hole is now filling up with water. We've got this nice little waterfall here going under the bridge. Our traffic's okay. I think we're okay. These buildings need to be visited by the disaster recovery people. Ooh. I think we may, might have escaped sort of lightly there. Is that a piece of something that's not fixed? It is! I just spotted it. Fixed. Not that trains are going down here at all. Yeah, there's still trams coming out of the tram hub to uh, fill up the requirements I've now put on all these lines. And actually, it's not going too bad. I mean, I think there's there's just stops that are just slightly getting in the way. If we move it this way, yeah, the stops down here. But that's okay. They're not stopping for too long, and it's all coming out okay. Let's maybe follow... Let's go this way. Because we've got our little tram. Oh, that's the tram turnaround. Our tram hub. Oh, they're clearing the snow. Well done. Here's our little tram hub. Over here. I'll find it in a minute. Here it is. So this is doing okay. Looking nice. I like this. This is good. Oh, I love the snow. I do love the snow. I love the snow in real life as well. I would... I've said to my wife numerous times... I would just move to somewhere like Sweden. Or does Sweden have a lot of snow all the time? I'm sure they have lots of snow. But you know what I mean. Some places that you think have lots of snow only have it like a few months of the year. Somewhere that has a lot of snow. Alaska. And just enjoy the snow. I love it when it comes around every year. The kids love it. Not great for driving in, but this guy in his sports car up here is managing okay. So this is doing all right. Let's follow this little tram section around here this road this is doing okay yeah they're just stopping picking picking a little bit of traffic going on here but i think they're okay Where are they? they're going down this way they're just stopping here because these are coming out down here and this is busy oh we're missing a road when the heck did that happen completely missed that I wonder if that was in the last episode and I just totally didn't see that at all. That's the wrong size road. Uh, it's this one. Wow. How did I miss that? In, it was in the earthquake, so it was this episode. Okay, well, hopefully that's sorted that out and they'll all get going now. <laughs> a bit better. Uh, it's probably stuck a traffic light in there. We do not want a traffic light. No, that's fine, thank you. We'll put a stop sign there. Look, these people are all like, I don't know where to go. Anyway, our traffic was okay. It was at 84%. So I think I was following the tram line. Let's go back up the main road here. So they have spread out, which is good. They're not bunching up. I mean, at some point, we may stick in like a bigger monorail thing but i don't know i don't know i like the trams and i just think it's a shame to to rip out huge huge swathes of things you've built 
Particularly when it's trams and it's snow. It all just looks so cool. I love it. Let's just follow this round here. Round to the other side. So this is the bit down here where we made that cut through. Do you remember? Last time. So that goes under the bridge that side. And it cuts through here this side. And they're getting out okay. Look. Is that a stop right there? It is. That's why they're overhanging. Oh, I didn't realise I'd done that. But yeah, that'll mean they'll stop doing this. Where they're coming in and stopping right there. Yeah, there they go. They're going to come in and move out of the way. Okay, so this one's looking pretty chock-a-block. Actually, it's not too bad. Once they spread out. And then they come out on... Where does that bridge come out? Oh, that, that comes out over here. And then they join this side. And this is okay. Yep, this is all fine. And this side of the tracks doesn't have trams. They're not as fortunate to have trams. They just have to rely on the stinky metro. Oh, man. Okay, what about 68,000? So we are not really getting as many people moving in as we would like because we're getting so many people being uh, killed by uh, disasters, which isn't fantastic. But sometimes that's the way it goes. Uh, I was just thinking here whether we could have this road like, come through to there. And then what I'm going to do is upgrade each end of that to a asymmetrical road there, an asymmetrical road there, as it's coming out onto this main road. <laughs> Looks like a smiley face, doesn't it? I'm deliberately going for wonky roads here just to, to keep the interest of this area. Without making it all grids and squares. Just for a change. Um, yeah, that can come up to there. Yeah, so this road goes through from one side to the other. I'm hoping that because it's a slower road, that they're not going to use it as a cut through. I uh, don't want that. We'll do that. Probably don't need to stop signs. We'll see how it goes. I'm hoping they'll just use that to get through to the houses that are going to be in here. Okay, there we go. This is going to be an extension of Summer Heights. Uh, let's just see what all the... Uh, let's just check these ones first. I think we should have... Yeah, not all of it's covered. I'm just wondering whether we could move the Elder Care and have the whole thing covered. We sort of put it... Um, I could literally take out that end of road, pop one there, delete that one. And that would cover, like, pretty much the whole thing. The childcare, pretty much the whole thing is fine. Uh, healthcare, we're going to have one off that road there and some death care next to you. Fire coverage, we do have one up there. Oh, no, that's evacuation shelter. Mm, yeah, that's okay to cover this. Fire coverage, no, we'll have one opposite there. So this is like a little hub for our services. And police all the way over there. Let's pop another one just there. And then schools. Thank you. Yeah, lots of schools over there. How are these doing? Yeah, plenty of spaces, but I want the area of effect for having schools. So we pop these in the middle. There we go. That's fine. And then some sort of park in here has a nice oh they've got no parks over here at all let's pop on right by that path yeah i thought i put some parks in here let's pop a small little doggy park in the middle of these two roads here and then we'll just pop what's going on? oh it's another auto saving on the zipper then and then we'll just pop one over here and we'll make maybe a little feature of this over there. Um, I also want to upgrade these roads. I'm pretty sure they're going to be quite noisy. In fact, they are not noisy at all. 
All right, then. Fine. No problem. Um, we're going to do the same. We're going to add some shops, but not on these roads here, which is part of the roundabout. Um, I'm going to put some offices just along here and here. And then we'll have some low density shops up to there. And then the rest of this is going to be housing. Yeah, and the only place where I'm going to make a change is on here. I'm going to make these high density housing along the main road here. And all the way down to that. Um, I might end up doing the same over here. We'll see what happens when we get over to this section. I'm going to pop some in there as well. Just a bit of visual difference. Yeah, I might just do that along here as well. Just as it's back in here along the main road. I don't think we're going to get all of this filled in. And we're struggling for power, aren't we? But that will be that will jump across soon enough. But just to help it out, let's just pop in a... There we go. And there we go. Excellent. Just to get things going. Right, let's see what we get in here. Geologists predict that a sinkhole could strike oh, any man. residents and should take precautionary measures. A 3.9 sinkhole. I bet it's going to be in the new area we just built. <laughs> no. It's right in the middle of town over here. Oh, man. If I get these to evacuate, is it going to evacuate? Oh, okay. Well, that was quick. How the heck did you all evacuate, like, immediately? What the heck? What the heck just happened there? I literally clicked this. And, okay, let's see how many are in here. One. So, one... Okay. So, using logic... All these buildings evacuated, but there's only one, eight people in here. So there's eight people that live in here. Are they like, is there crowds of people rushing along the street? Oh man, this is right over my, no, it's right by my flipping Hawkey Park. Oh, good grief. Cliffhanger, will Hawkey Park train station survive? Find out in the next episode. Subscribe so you don't miss it. And until then, check out the next video on the screen. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye-bye.